Hi everybody, Elisa here um, again with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Uh, I got um, a request yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, I can't remember, I think it might have been yesterday, on my Instagram asking um, would I consider doing uh, what's in my bag videos and so I said sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, to be honest, I never really um, think about doing them just because I'm always carrying the same type of bag a lot of the time, which is the Vera Tote, and so I feel like, oh, it's probably going to seem repetitive because I'm not always switching out what I have inside there. But I, I got to thinking about it, and I was thinking, oh, well, so when I switch bag styles, that might be the time to think about doing a what's in my bag. Okay. Um, because then I tend to switch some of the stuff I'm carrying more because it's, you know, the bag size changes and so things have to change a little bit more. Um, okay, so I do have um, my Vera tote. So this is the tote that I have been sort of waving around in videos lately. <laughs> so that part is a little repetitive. But, um, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> is the factory outlet uh, style Vera tote, the larger size, so the regular size one. I do think they make a smaller one too in this pattern. Uh, this is Bengal Lily. Um, you know, I, I'm liking this bag. I'm very pleased that I'm liking this bag so much because I, I have just recently changed, um, maybe in the la within the last few patterns, they've changed their Vera tote there at the factory out. They've changed some of the styling details, so they've added a, a recessed top zipper, and they've added a, a lining, um, so you don't see the quilted, you know, the interior wall doesn't, you don't see the quilting on that anymore. And so when they did that, then the pockets, there are still six slip pockets in here, but they're not quilted. They're not that quilted. They don't have that quilted wall, pocket wall, like they did in the previous version, which was nice because that gave the bag kind of some sturdiness, some structure. And so, you know, I do tend to think in general that the uh, factory line stuff does feel a little bit thinner, a little flimsier than the signature line stuff. And so I was worried about this tote, but I'm actually finding it feels substantial. And I've got this weighted down with a lot of stuff. Um, and I never worry. I don't worry about the straps. I have no hesitation to like pick it up by the straps. I'm not worried that they're not going to wear well. They can't handle the weight. Um, so I, I'm pleased with it. So um, just real quick, the styling on the factory, the outer, the outside styling on the factory Vera is a little bit different than the signature store Vera because it's got the slip one slip pocket here and then the a zipper pocket on the other side. You know, on the signature line, the slip and the zip pocket are on the exterior are sort of ganged up together and then one on top of the other on one side of the bag. Um, so anyway, but this doesn't have that, that sort of hidden slip pocket up top. But this does have piping up on the top edge. And I've been told it's not uh, by a fellow Vera fan, um, Erica I think it was, mentioned that this is still new cotton. So yay. <laughs> I didn't really realize that. I think in my mind I just thought, ugh, everything is recycled now except for the um, custom stuff still. Um, but it seems like maybe this is new too. And so great, you know, that, that does kind of make me sort of want to gravitate towards these Vera totes. Because that piping on the top edge, which you can see here, um, is in the fabric. It's not microfiber, it's in the fabric. It matches, you know, it's the same fabric as the body of the bag. Um, that really helps keep this, the shape of the, the top edge of the bag real nice. It just, just helps immensely. Um, anyway, I do have uh, a previous video where I showed this and talked about the pattern a little bit more, and I can put a link to that. But now I'll just do the, you know, what's in there. All my junk. Um, it looks a little messy because I just have a couple of things that I don't always take with me thrown on top. But everything else under, underneath is sort of wedged in more. But I just will get this out of the way. I do have a Hummingbird Park mask, which I just, you know, made the effort to reconfigure the, the loop, the, the elastic so that I can make ear loops. 
So I'm just wearing this now, even though I've had this mask for forever, it feels like. But I got a good bird on that. So that's good. This is sort of a new-ish thing. Um, this is Plum Pansies. And I've talked about this, this pattern and um, how I, I like it because it sort of reminds, makes me think of sort of film noir. It has that kind of film noir feel with this high key you know, kind of very high contrast look between the, the inky, you know, black areas and the light areas. So just like, like in the cinematography and the lighting in a film noir movie, you know, you get that kind of high contrast. So it kind of reminds me of that. And I, I'm not going to remember exactly what this is called, I don't think. I just recently, um, you know, I had sort of been compulsively saving compulsively saving all of my um, Vera tags for items um, and I had a ton of them and so then when I would do a video if I wasn't sure what something was called I would go look through my tags real quick to refresh before making the video so I would you know sound like I knew what I was doing <laughs> well those days are over <laughs> Because um, I recently threw out all my tags. I just decided, what am I doing saving all these? Why am I saving all these? I'm such a pack rat. And so I'm just winging it here. <laughs> so I think this might be like a mini tech case or something. Um, dips around three sides and flips open. And I have my easy pass in here. Um, and the mylar, that it, the, the packaging that it came in. I keep this. I save this. This is like a zip. Uh, mesh zip pocket here and that's elastics you know they're elastics for your tech stuff um, I keep this wrapper because apparently if you want are traveling or something and you don't want your easy pass to be scanned and read and charged you can wrap it in the original wrapper and that will prevent it from being scanned so so they say I've never actually tested it out <laughs> Uh, also plum pansies and a new item, newer item. I mean, it's not, this is like, I don't think this is the first pattern this has been released in, but uh, relatively few patterns so far in this. Um, I think this is a mini makeup case. <laughs> Unzips on three sides, like I'm always saying, love anything that does that. Rosie, what are you doing down there? Because it sounds like you're kind of scraping the carpet. <laughs> um, so I'm not carrying makeup in here. I mean, I don't tend to carry a lot of makeup with me uh, on a daily basis, although I do have something in here that I'll get to that I guess could be makeup. <laughs> um, but I was I had bought this hoping that my GPS would fit in here, and it's just a little too big. I was so bummed. Um, I have my GPS in something else, the thing I typically keep it in, but I was excited thinking, oh, I can change up what I'm doing, but mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, so I have, it is working for this nicely though, which is my laptop, you know, plug and cord and everything where I have to charge my laptop because well, I do love the cord organizer and I'm always talking about that and when I travel with a lot of cords, I do put this and all my other cords all together in one cord organizer, but I don't always need all of that with me all the time. So this is a good smaller option for just when I just want to take this with me. Um, but you know, if I were using it for makeup, then the, the, the feature is this zip. Seriously, what is she doing down there? Rosie! Oh God. There's like a zipper mesh pocket here and a mirror. I think there's plastic on here I have to pull off. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, anyway, and that just shows you I'm not using this for makeup. Rosie, what are you doing down there? Stop it. Like scraping the carpet. <laughs> um, okay. So that's that. Plum, plum pansies also. This pattern. Like anything with lavender. And the light blues. I love the light blues in there. Okay. So then you can see those the two things were just plunked on top. So beyond that, it, it is kind of more, a little bit more organized anyway. A little bit. So um, the pockets. Let's see in this pocket. Uh, what do I have here? I feel like I don't have everything out of this pocket. No, I have a measuring tape measure. I got this. This is a free birthday gift. I think this is what is this? I never remember the order. Java 
Maybe Cam? Maybe Rosie, stop doing that. Seriously, in her terrible twos for like forever. <laughs> Java, maybe Camo I'm going to go with. <laughs> but I wouldn't bet money on that. Um, oh my word, that dog. Okay, if it's not chewing noises, apparently it's scraping the carpet noises. <laughs> not just a mirror compact and... Uh, this was a test item. I've shown this before. Clip and zip, I think they were calling it. And I got this in the focus group that I'm in to test. Um, it's basically just like a coin purse, but with this wristlet strap attached. Um, but I meet, when I got it, I immediately fell in love with the pattern. And there was no name on the tag for the pattern. And I was thinking, oh, I hope they release this pattern. It's so beautiful. I would love it in a Vera tote. Well, um, they have just put loaded up onto the website recently a preview of their a couple of new patterns that are coming out on I think it's February 3rd and if you go to the website now and type in preview in the search field um, it will bring up all of these items that are going to be you know available on February 3rd um, there's a seashell kind of pattern I remember when they showed us that in the focus group um, and there's a pattern called Boom, boom. I, I don't like that name and I have trouble saying it. It feels like a tongue twister. <laughs> um, but I love that pattern. And um, this seems is like a sister pattern to that. This is so this was up there in a few things. Not a Vera tote though. I was really bummed. This is not a full like signature cotton release. That seems the bloom boom pattern is the main pattern. Um, this is bloom boom navy. And um, they had a couple of like accessory type items in it, I feel like. Uh, and it's used in some placemats. Um, and there's a, and what looks to be like a new kind of travel blanket, which I'm really excited about actually, because I don't like the current travel blanket at all. Um, and this one I think is like a packable travel blanket. It seems to have a pouch or something. Anyway, it's in this pattern. So I will definitely be checking that out because I want something in this pattern, which has, I thought they were butterflies at first, but I think they're dragonflies. And oh my God, Rosie, please stop doing that. Um, you can see it here. I just love the rendering on this. I've talked about this in other um, videos and I'm just using this for like band-aids and uh, disinfectant wipes and stuff. Stuff like that. Okay, so in another slip pocket, I have, um, I think this was a medium uh, pouch in a cosmetic trio, nomadic flowers, maybe. I just have a Xerox of my COVID card in here. I have to re-Xerox it, don't I? Because I'm boosted now. <laughs> re-Xerox it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Note to self. <laughs> and uh, Ellie go round. I think this was part of a cosmetic set, pouch set or something. I'm not sure. And I just have pens in here uh, because of their, it's plastic lined, so I felt like that would be good in case any of the pens leak or the cap comes off of one. I don't want ink getting on the lining of the, my main bag. So Ellie Go Round, I think, was a QVC exclusive. Um, it's such a cute pattern because it's got those elephants. Uh, in another slip pocket, and there are six slip pockets in here, if I didn't say that, I don't remember if I said that, a coupon I'm hoping to use at my Hallmark, and store loyalty cards on a lanyard. Uh, this wide lanyard is Rainforest Canopy Birdies Navy, I think. Whatever the pattern name is, and this is a mouthful. <laughs> Um, but I do love this. This is like the lining on Rainforest Canopy. Um, but I like this color combo better. I'm not crazy about the color combo on the lining on that, that pattern. Otherwise, I would do a custom tote in it. But it's just too beige or like this weird flesh kind of color, pink, pinky kind of color for certain flesh tones. <laughs> It's like a Band-Aid and Crayola Crayon finally got their act together and realized that not everybody is a, a, a beigey, peachy pink. 
<laughs> that only took them how long to realize that? Um, okay. <laughs> this is something I don't always carry with me, but I do have it on me now. Um, and this is a packable tote. This is Penelope's Garden. This is a factory outlet packable tote which I like so much better than the Signature Line one. Really, I will never buy another Signature Line one. Um, it, the straps are too slippery. The straps are like those seatbelt material straps and they just will not stay on my shoulders. And it gets super irritating, super fast. But this is rip, this whole bag, including straps, is ripstop material, which I love. I have a fondness for ripstop material too, uh, just anyway, probably because of when I was younger and I used to, do, I used to dance a little bit. Um, and you know, there's the dance, those dancers' pants that are made out of ripstop material. It's like I think that it brings that memory to me, ripstop material. So, um, but anyway, the straps are also ripstop, and they're a little bit thinner. Um, they're not as wide as the narrow. They're narrower. They're not as wide as the signature um, packable tote straps, and so they stay on my shoulder perfectly. Love this. I would have more of these, but I don't like the patterns they're currently available in. So I'm hoping that at some point in the future they'll release it again in a pattern I like. This is where I have my makeup. <laughs> this is a mini dome in Fruit uh, fruit Grove. This is a pattern I really wish they would. Well, my true wish for this pattern would have been that they released it in the regular Vera tote with trim. Um, you know, I'm kind of concerned with now that they've gone to the recycled fabric, it doesn't seem, none of the totes that have come out, none of the Vera totes that have come out since the move to recycled cotton have that trim. Um, and so I'm, I'm wondering if they're just going to forego the trim altogether now because they've gone to recycled fabric and they haven't quite figured out how to make that work, you know, in their manufacturing process and costs or whatever. But, um... That would be really sad if they completely let go of that because it's the only thing that sort of is tying them to their brand history, I feel like, um, in such an obvious way. And I think that with this pattern in particular, they could have had real, uh, uh, they could have done something really fun with the trim, you know, like I'm envisioning big slices of the watermelon or the strawberries and the cherries. You know, it really could have been very pretty. So that would have been my my real wish, uh, my first wish for this. But, you know, um, in the absence of that, at least throw this pattern up in the custom section so I can make myself a, a Vera tote without the trim. <laughs> but, you know, I can make myself a Vera tote in this. I want this in a tote. This is such a pretty fabric. Um, and in here I have just my tissues and uh, pack, tissue packs and my makeup which is just two Nivea lip balms. One is just clear and one has like a red tint. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's my makeup. Um, when I travel more like real traveling, uh, I, I, I do take, you know, makeup and mascara and eyeliner, and, you know, stuff like that, lip gloss and things, but not, not on a day, daily basis now. <laughs> when I go out of the house, that's it, and I just sort of, Hope for the best. <laughs> I hope my hope my face stays <laughs> stays the same. Then I have all these zip IDs that I've always been using for photos. Basically, that's what I use zip IDs for. So I have my picture Gookie. Again, this is um, Java AV Camo <laughs> and a Best in Show uh, wide lanyard. I just love these wide lanyards. And a deluxe, these I have, so that one, I have Duke just sort of on his own lanyard in case I downsize to a smaller bag and I can always have his picture with me and it's just easy to separate from all of them and throw it in my other bag. Um, these I have ganged up together on one lanyard. I think this was French, hmm, ditzy maybe. This, is, this came out, this wide lanyard came out went with French paisley got the birds on it just like in the French paisley pattern and here I have a deluxe zip ID this is hummingbird park um, I like this for photos because you get this double-sided you know this window and so you can have two different photos showing and it's got some 
slots, like card slots there. Uh, pin snap closure. And there's a zipper up top, you know, the zip portion up, up top that has, you know, a dividing fabric, a piece of div fabric dividing it, like a regular zip I do. And this is um, Sweethearts. I, I, you know, I love this pattern. And um, when it first came out, I, I didn't get it right away, but then all of a sudden I just fell in love with it and I, need, I needed to get it. And I'm glad I did before it, you know, became harder to get. You know, it was sort of their Valentine's pattern and so it wasn't, it was sort of limited. Um, and I do have the tote in this and I love it. And I do have just configured some masks, the pleated masks. I've just made my ear loops. <laughs> so I'm, I'm ready for Valentine's Day now. <laughs> but I do like the hearts in this because they remind me, well, I thought at first I would think that the red on the black background is kind of jarring, but I don't. It, it isn't jarring and it doesn't vibrate. It's well done. And the part of that might have to do with the way the hearts are rendered, where half the heart is sort of a grayer, it has some gray, like black, mixed in with the red tone, so it kind of softens it. But it also reminds me of Jim Dine. Now, if people aren't familiar with artist Jim Dine and his work, I mean, he's known for that um, love sculpture in Philadelphia, but he's done a lot of other stuff, painting and stuff. And he has... He's known for, one of the things he's known for painting is hearts. So if you Google like Jim Dine hearts, you, you can get a feel for what I'm talking about. And his heart shapes are, are very similar to this, just like this in a way. And, um, and some of them, he's done shading that divide, sort of looks like it's almost dividing the heart in half vertically. So that's why this kind of reminds me of, of Jim Dine. Again, sweethearts pattern. Um, and my husband. And this is Garden Grove, another deluxe zip ID. Um, again, for photos, all for photos. And I, I don't, tend not to use these as small wallets. I will in a pinch if I need to, but I like the coin purse a little bit better for that. I feel like it opens a little wider or something. I don't know if I said that already, um, but um, I mean, I have used them, but. but I don't gravitate towards using these as wallets unless I absolutely have to. I like the cab, the blue cabbage rose in this. That's the part of the pattern I'm always trying to get uh, when I get items in this pattern. So that's that. And what else? Okay, I'm getting through all my all my pockets. Hand sanitizer was also in one of the slip pockets. That's part of why I like the Vera pockets so much. They're they're deep. They've got a good depth to them in this. I like my big um, hand sanitizer bottle, though I do have a smaller one for smaller bags that doesn't have a pump, but I like this pump and um, fits nicely in there in one of these pockets. And I keep it in like sort of the front, front pocket. When I say front, I mean like so that when, I, when the bag is on my shoulder, the hand sanitizer is in one of the pockets that's more towards this end of the bag, the front facing end of the bag, rather than, you know, back here. And then the other front pocket, I have my Carson cell phone crossbody, where, where I keep my phone, and this Hummingbird Park again, uh, bird, <laughs> and the lavender flowers I like so much in this uh, pattern. I just got my iPhone slipped in there. I just like the added sense of protection. Um, this is an iPhone 11. fits in there perfectly. Um, but also I feel like it kind of, if I, if I carry my phone in this, I always know what to look for, what to feel for when I want to reach for my phone or when my phone rings or dings or whatever. It's easy. It makes it easy to find because I know what item I'm looking for. And I usually have this flap unsnapped. And it's just sort of flapping around in my bag and sort of open. And so I just know to sort of feel for that. And so it becomes easy to access my phone that way. Uh, I don't have to worry about wondering where it is or trying to fight with my stuff in my bag to find it. I could just leave it in that pocket without the Carson, but the pocket is a little bit big for it. The Carson sort of fills up the pocket nicely. And so then, uh, this is what I've got my GPS in now. This is a regular mini cosmetic pouch. Um, so yeah, so this is a little, this contraption was a little too big for that 
mini makeup case, unfortunately. This is Dragon Fruit Coral. Um, I do love this pattern. And you know, so I'll just work with it. It's been, it works, this, this case works for my GPS. I don't attach my GPS to my windshield or anything in my car. I don't like to do that. So I'm always carrying it with me and um, moving it around. <laughs> it's like, I always joke, you know, if I ever want to walk through the toll plaza, I've got it on me. <laughs> um, then my a reader's case for my eyeglasses. This is Cloud Vines. Right, Cloud Vines. I think I have a cloth lens, a uh, lens cloth. Lens cloth, Hummingbird Park. And I don't try to match patterns. I mean, I, I do have a lot of hummingbird. Well, maybe not a lot, but I have a few things I see here in Hummingbird Park. So I'm repeating myself a little bit, um, and that's just coincidence. I mean, I don't, I don't try to match. Uh, the more, as I always say, the greater the number of patterns I'm carrying at any given time, the happier I am. That's usually the goal: is how many different patterns can I get on me? <laughs> so now, cord here I am using a cord organizer, but not for cords. And this is Forbidden Forest. Um, the pretty Harry Potter patterns, I always say. And I mentioned this in a, a recent video where I, I take it to putting masks in here. And it's just working so great for me. Love it. Because before I was cramming all my masks into a wristlet. And I was slowly carrying more and more stuff in this department. <laughs> and so everything was so crammed in there and getting creased and, and just not fitting well. And I was like, why am I forcing it? So um, this is a little bit bigger, and it's really working nicely. I can stick like uh, flat latex gloves in various little, you know, compartments, and, and the, the more serious mask in here, and one of the mesh slip pockets. And then I just have, you know, a variety of masks there. And um, I do carry, you know, a bunch of masks. Well, for for myself, obviously, but. Um, <laughs> I am finding sometimes when I'm out with my husband, and he forgets it. He said, oh, I don't have a mask. I can whip out, you know, one of the, he won't wear, obviously he wouldn't wear a beer mask, but, um, you know, I can, I have some of these. I think one time I didn't have any of these, and, and I only had beer masks, and I said, well, just turn it inside out, and he did that, and it was an, you know, kind of emergency situation, and he needed a mask, so he flipped it over to the lining side, so it was just white. Um, so that's that. I like this pattern. Very pretty. Um, and I, I did just show this since I was keeping the tags on it, but I did decide to, since it has the bird, uh, it's Bengal Lily, Turnlock Wallet, and the factory outlet store, uh, I decided to put my stuff in it. That didn't take long. Um, I'm glad that the mechanism seems to be working nicely. Sometimes, like I noticed on the holiday cats and dogs patterns that they released the turn lock in, there was something going on with this. Uh, I think I'm going to be returning all the turn locks. I bought a couple of turn locks in that. I think I'm just going to return them. I never took the tags off. Um, I may only be able to get store credit. I don't know, but that's fine. Um, because this is is catching. It's like the edges of the uh, metal are rough, have some rough patches or something. So it's like it wasn't cut properly um, in the assembly line or something, this piece of hardware. So um, it's frustrating. And I don't, it feels cheap. So anyway, um, but this one works well. This one works fine. And so the turn lock, I didn't take my stuff out, so let me just cover my, my cover myself. I like the turn lock because it has two ID windows here, and I like to use one for photos there. And so I always have a picture of Duke there. And then it's just, you know, nice because it's got all these card slots here, six here, and, uh, and you know, larger, you know, <laughs> larger it's so sad right that we live in that kind of a, a world where we have to make sure we're covering our ID because there might be some weirdo out there <laughs> god um, has these larger sections too so you could put bills in there without having to fold them you know some people don't like to fold their um, bills and then it has a back section 
you know, again, with more organizational options there. And a zipper on the back, zipper pocket on the back for coins and stuff. I like that wallet. I didn't think I would at first. I, I resisted this wallet style for a long time because of the metal hardware. And I was like, I don't need a wallet with that. No, I'm not going to like that. But I actually really do. <laughs> and let's see. I think that might be it. Except for the very last thing. Oh, it's so nice and light now. <laughs> um, this is something I, I would always see in the signature store and I would always look at it, but in this pattern or in like French paisley, but I would always be looking for a bird and it's hard to find a bird on here. And this was a hair accessories kit, which I knew I was not going to, um, you know, be interested in. I don't care about the hair accessories. I mean, does it look like I care about, about hair accessories? <laughs> um, but I was thinking this could be good to keep other things in. And, and when this went on sale, I happened to be in there and I saw this one. I couldn't believe my luck. I love the blue uh, cockatoo in this. And then I flipped it over and there was one on the back. The orange one is on the back. So I felt so lucky. Um, and this has micro, you can see it has a micro square quilting. So a nice little variation. Um, and it just unzips all around and then flips open. And I'm using it for a charger cord. Um, it does have this sort of mesh el elasticized edge slip pocket and so I mean I have that in there I don't know if it's really going to stay in there but it doesn't matter. And then there's this sort of tab with a snap and that's where I have the cord. But what came in here, I mean I was going to do another video to show, uh, can show what came in here. I was going to do, I, I have a, a, sort of a bunch of random things and also sitting over there. Um, that I was going to show that I haven't shown yet, small things that I got, and um, I can show the rest of this in there. But So I'm, that's what I'm using for my charger cord in here, and it's working nice. This has some little bit of structure to it. Um, so that was it. So that was everything that was in my bag, which again was the factory um, outlet store Vera Tote in um, Bengal Lily. So anyway, I hope people found that enjoyable, and I will try to remember going forward if I'm ever switching out my bag style, but that's a good time to do a what's in my bag, because then I change up stuff a little bit more than I usually do. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.